what if you need to create something in order to make what you have in your house more accessible to people which have a different skill set than you have? And this is where also dashboard or voice or physical devices can really help you. Because basically, you, are, you embrace a different paradigm, paradigm to interact with your smart home. And it's based on different skills people have. Okay, this person can only speak. This person doesn't yeah. see. This person can only push big buttons and so on and so forth. And this is where I think uh, dashboard and voice and other stuff can really help in the accessibility, other accessibility of your totally. smart home. Totally. I would cool. like to know for future plans, anything you're looking forward to uh, like automating or what's next on the hit list? I'm like uh, to the point of putting a tablet in my living room on the wall. Mm. Okay. okay. So I want to make my house more nicer to, to check for the rest of the family. Because of course, we already have the software on like our mobile phones, but what about the kids? They are like nine, they are six. I don't want to give them a smartphone right now. 